we're going to look at subtraction. Now here we obviously have some like terms, so it's going to be important to, um, to represent this. So when we're doing f minus, f minus g of x, again guys, that's basically saying take f of x and subtract it from g of x. Now it's really, really important because here's where the mistakes happen. Students will take f of x and then they'll take g of x and they'll write it just like this and not even think about it. But the problem with this is this mathematically says negative 2 minus x squared and then, minus, and then minus x minus 1. It doesn't say f of x minus g of x. To properly write this, we need to make sure that we have a, insert our grouping symbol, like parentheses, to represent that you're taking this function and subtracting this function. So what that's telling us to do is we need to distribute that negative across all of the terms. So really what we're doing is we're taking 3x squared minus x squared, oh, I'm sorry, 3x minus 2 minus x squared plus x plus 1. And now we can just go ahead and rewrite our terms. 3x squared minus x squared is going to be 2x squared. We have positive x. Negative 2 plus 1 is a negative 1. Now, again, let's look at it. The domain here, all real numbers. The domain here, all real numbers. So it doesn't matter if I add or subtract them, whatever I do, you guys can see I'm still getting a quadratic when I combine like terms, right? Or even if I got a linear equation, it's still it's not going to matter. The subtraction, all we did is we combined the two domains. So if the two domains were all real numbers, well, then guess what? Our new function is going to be all real numbers. Did I do? OK, yeah, I did. 